Perseverance rover phoned home. And wow, the deployment of the parachute, the separation, the landing. Tango Delta. All of it. As it happened on five high def cameras. It's something we have never seen before. What it was like to actually execute that entry, ascent, and landing sequence and to actually uh, almost be along for the ride. You're watching it as if you're sitting right there. Safely on a trip into Mars. You begin to understand the excitement of this momentous event when you consider the landing was only 16 feet off its target, 131 million miles from Earth. Yes! <laughs> Engineer Miguel San Martin going viral on TikTok. We don't test it on the ground. So this is the first time that we actually see it fly, not just on Mars, but in a anywhere. So you must have been biting your nails, just hoping that all of the science would work, but there's variables. Doing 99.9% .9 correctly is not enough. Is that, uh, you know, 0.1% is, is wrong. It actually makes the whole thing fail. And another first, a microphone capturing the sound of the wind on Mars. The potential of it all is is what strikes me more than anything. We have so far to go, so, so much to learn. How they technically did all of this will likely shock you. A 15-year-old consumer-grade computer connected to off-the-shelf high-def cameras, creating images that are so stunning, even NASA recognizes they look like simulated graphics. It's stunning and it's real. And that was our thought, too, when we first saw it. We're like, wow, this looks like doesn't look real, um, but it is. And that's what's so amazing about it. Every image transmitted is being shared. NASA hoping the public will look at them. Images that will help scientists seeking the sands of past life. And for hobbyists with telescopes, you can actually look at where Perseverance landed on Mars from your backyard. You can point out to your friends where it's located. Isn't that cool? And you can see it even better, of course, if you have high-powered observatory like Eric does here at Florida Atlantic University. Already, Perseverance has beamed back more than 4,000 photos from Mars. And just consider this. Take a look at this image. This is 1965, one of the first images ever taken of Mars. They actually had to hand tint it to give it some color. Mm. Compare that to what we're getting now, these high-def pictures. Yes. And if you're saying to yourself, these pictures kind of look like the pictures I take with my cell phone. The computer chips in your cell phone are the same computer chips they're using on Mars to take these pictures. Okay. So, guys, all I can say is mind blowing. I know. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So, what's cool about this mission, I mean, it was so high stakes for a bunch of reasons, but they actually just had a tiny window of time to land this, didn't they? They did. In fact, uh, adding to the complication, of course, is the pandemic. And so doing all their work was that much more difficult at the press conference. A 12 year old asked them, did they think that they might not be able to do this? And they said, well, actually, we did because of the pandemic, because if they missed their missed their launch window, that it would have had to wait another two years to launch. So Man. it all came together. Incredible success, 100 percent. Wow. All right, Carrie. Thank sure. you. I love the audio, too. That's I so know. fun. Let's, yeah. Let's go over to Al. How's the Craig weather? Craig wasn't so impressed with the audio. Well, I said the wind on Mars sounded like the wind on Earth, but as you pointed <laughs> out, it was wind on Mars. That's yeah. right. And those pictures, real and spectacular. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.